नमस्कार टुडे अगेन आई एम टेकिंग अप रेडिएशन अवर हेल्थ चैनल और अवर हेल्थ टॉक इज टोटली इनकम्प्लीट इफ वी डोंट टेक सच ए इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट अबाउट हेल्थ which is radiation we should know more and more about this more and more we know more and more we can take care because information is everything if we don't know we are no where we don't know how to take care about that yeah just like this radiation more and more we know more and more we can take care radiation we need to keep in our mind that radiation is a very important aspect of our health how to stay away and we can't stay away till we don't know it ye jo radiation hai ye bahut bada subject hai iske bagair hamara health ka topic incomplete hai kyunki ye bahut badi problems create kar sakta hai so isliye hame ज्यादा से ज्यादा इसकी इंफॉर्मेशन नॉलेज होनी चाहिए टुडे आई विल टॉक द ओरिजिन ऑफ द रेडिएशन रेडिएशन इज एवरीवेयर बट द मेन concept starts from the sun how radiation takes birth in the sun how sun is generating its energy no when we will know about the source about the energy coming from the sun how it is created how it is coming how it will affect us how we should try to stay away from this and all that that will be very good for us hame pata hona chahiye ki sun mein ye jo energy hai wo kaise create hoti hai aur kaise wo hamare paas aati hai aur kis shape mein aati hai aur hame usko kaise receive karna hai ताकि हम अपने आप को रेडियंशन से सेव करके रख सके नो इन द इन इन साइड द सन इन द कोर ऑफ द सन एटम्स द हाइड्रोजन द प्रोटोन्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन कोलाइड विद विद ईच अदर proton of hydrogen atom they collide with each other very violently and then fuse into a atom of helium ye jo hydrogen ke protons hain wo bahut buri tarah se collide karte hain aapas mein aur फिर वो फ्यूज कर जाते हैं बना देते हैं हीलियम के एटम को और ये जो प्रोसेस है दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एंड एज पी एंड पी प्रोटोन प्रोटोन प्रोसेस एंड व्हेन इट कम्स इनटू ए चेन ऑफ रिएक्शन जब एक रिएक्शन की चेन बन जाती है इसी 
कोलेजियन की और हीलियम के बनने की तो देन दिस चेन ऑफ दिस कोलेजियन एमर्जेस एबंडेंस ऑफ एनर्जी फ्रॉम हीली हाइड्रोजन एटम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड द प्रोटोन्स इन दैट दे कोलाइड विद ईच अदर एंड देन फ्यूज इन टू एलियम एटम एंड दिस प्रोसेस वेन इट गोज इन टू चेन जब ये चेन में आ जाता है लगातार होता है तो देन इट एमिट्स एबंडेंस ऑफ एनर्जी एंड दैट इज द सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर द सन ओके नो द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सन comes to us in the shape of magnetic fields and uh, in many other shapes also in the shape of waves and that comes to us when we are in the sun we are taking uh, sun rays and all that we should know that it comes to us in uh, many shapes like the infrared rays like the ultraviolet rays like the x rays like the gamma rays spectrum and radio waves many waves are there but what is practically good for us to know jo sabse zyada zaruri hai hame janna wo ye hai ki jab hum sun mein baithte hain to only visible is the light rays jo light aake hame roshni karti hai वो हमें दिखाई देती है लेकिन अदर दूसरी चीजें दिखाई नहीं देती अदर थिंग्स आर नॉट विजिबल बट दे आर देयर एंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज द अल्ट्रा वॉयलेट अल्ट्रा वॉयलेट रेज कम टू अस इन थ्री शेप्स वन शेप पेनीट्रेट्स दे कम टू अस द अदर शेप don't penetrate that much the third shape emerges into the atmosphere never comes to us we can name it as a b c or whatever so we should know everything practically not a b c and whatever no whatever ultra violet rays comes to us we should know how to take that the day time from 10 am to 2 uh, for, uh, from 10 am to 4 pm roughly they are very sharp and they can harm us give us a problem of the skin and if you take too much of that that can create the skin cancer and all that so now we talked about how the energy created in the sun in that how it comes to us in the shape of radiation and how we should take that is the topic of today so i said most of the things are not visible but the visible is only light which gives us the daylight and all that make us away from the dark so the other main important thing is ultraviolet that has three stages three separate situations in which it comes one don't penetrate the other penetrates and the third one dissolves in the atmosphere so we should stay away from the sharp sun from 10 am to 4 pm so today we talked about the sun and this now we should know the more practical things more quickly more early then i will go on talking about the radiation again and again and so that we can get much more information about this now we should know quickly that there are some foods also just like uh, banana banana has too much potassium 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 and that is radioactive 
potatoes they have this radioactive all that potassium and then there are nuts brazil nuts and all that few things are there so when we take these when we eat these we should eat bananas in a limited quantity abundance of this can harm us guaranteed limited is okay our body can take that similarly with the potatoes and uh, there are some typical type of beans also and we should know that note down that and try to be in on the middle path and then we should know about the decay of the uranium and the waste of the uranium how the system the the world is keeping that and uh, how to stay away from those places because when they preserve the waste of that uranium and uh, uh, plutonium and all that that sometime get leaked into the water also and all that if we know we can do something we can be careful about that and if we don't know we are nowhere so today we talked about some foods we talked about the origin we talked about our staying in the sun and in the next we will talk about how the this uh, this hard metal stays around us just like uh, lead mercury and all that and how we should deal with that so we opened in our mind a chapter of radiation chapter of hard metals chapter how they decay and what they decay do when the big companies and all the uh, plants use this how the wastage is disposed of or they keep it for some time to get it uh, neutralized or something and where it goes and all that more and more we will know about this more and more we can be better off just like how it is going into water is it dissolved in the water uh, or not soluble in the water or something most of the radioactive salts are not soluble in the water but still few are there which can harm us so we can try to uh, do best filtrations and all that to stay away from that so again we open the chapter of radiation how to deal with all this because it's a very important subject our health subject is nowhere without this okay namaskar and i will be there again with this radiation for few days more few more videos and then something more magnetic this is one of the magnetic thing we talked about and they try to use all this practically into life because if we are not using practically no use thanks again